Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday. Beautiful day. Beautiful day. Uh, got a phone call first thing this morning, or a text message, I should say. Probably from uh, one of my stickers that I that I put out, or somebody told somebody that I collect scrap metal. Asked me if I'd come pick up a lawnmower, so... Looks a lot like the one I have in the back of the trailer now. So let's go grab another lawnmower on a Saturday morning. First thing I asked him was, hey, just wondering, do you have somebody there that could help me load that thing? Because I don't know if I could do it by myself. Tires are all flat and everything. So uh, yeah, let's go get this lawnmower and see what we can, uh, we can bring it back to the house. I've got work to do. Remember, Wednesday's my operation, so... I got a bunch of things I'd like to get done before Wednesday. See you soon. Don't go At the next stop sign. And I'll be honest with you. I'm not even awake yet. Lord have mercy. Saturday morning, 9.15 in the morning. Picking up scrap metal. Got to stay busy. Always hustling. That was easy enough. I backed directly straight up to it, slapped her right in there. So now we got two lawnmowers in the back. I'm guessing 400 pounds a piece times eight cents, uh, minus whatever I take out of them. I got batteries, whatnot, blah, blah, blah. Let's do it, guys. My wife has honey do for me for the rest of the day. So I'm going back to the house, get some honey do's done. And uh, hopefully do some scrapping Monday, Tuesday. Get ready for Wednesday. The big day. The big day. If the more I can get done between now and Tuesday night, the better off I'll be for the next six to eight weeks. Good morning, everybody. It is Saturday morning. Beautiful day here in Southeast Sunny, Southport, North Carolina made a video yesterday it was a long one tearing apart motors this and that and the other cut up a few barrels that greg brought me so i can separate my material which i have all in my shop so uh yeah i'm uh, getting ready to be a little more organized than i have been anthony um guy on my youtube you watched and you said it looks like i'm starting to be more of a hoarder than a scrapper well, I just want to explain to you and everybody else that, um, yeah, there there can be some hoarding when it comes to scrap metal. Um, but in this particular situation, I am a roofer. Drew's Roofing and Home Repair. That is the name of my business. And that is um, what I actually do for a living. Scrapping is just kind of a side gig. It's something that I'll do when I fully retire, but right now I'm not fully retired. In my trailer right now are tools that I need for that job. So I was scrapping motors right here in the back of my trailer um, with my trailer uh, tools for my other um, job inside my trailer. And I don't really want to take them out because I need them Monday morning. And um, that was Friday night. I don't want to take them out. I need the trailer Monday morning. I'm not planning on making a trip to the scrapyard Monday morning. So this stuff basically had to be here. Um, so it's here Monday morning. If I would have filled up or thrown my scrap metal that I was tearing apart from over there into my trailer, I would have been stuck Monday morning with a trailer loaded with scrap metal and nowhere to put my tools. So I left all my tools in there because I need it Monday morning. And I threw my scrap metal, yes, from that pile to this pile as I was tearing it apart. Now I did take my motors that I tore apart and put them in this barrel for scrapping later. So hoarder? No, I'm not hoarding. Um, I, just ha I just happened to need my trailer um, for my project on Monday. So actually, if you've seen my yard a while back, you'd know that I've cleaned out a bunch. Yes, I have a lot more to do, but I'm definitely not trying to hoard. 
and I am trying to get things put into buckets where it belongs. So I hope everybody has a blessed Saturday. And I hope you enjoyed the video that I put out, Breaking Down Fans. They can be very intimidating. Trust me, breaking down a motor can be intimidating. But I'm going to tell you, stuff like this, you're just going to end up throwing it in shred unless you want to break off your little ends right there. But for me, that's shred. So, uh, yeah, for all you people that are not scrappers, um, I just want to let you know that I'm not hoarding. I am just literally trying to stay busy with two different businesses roofing and scrap metal sometimes i need my trailer and i can't throw that stuff in the trailer where i would love to have done um but anyways yeah that's my situation hope you guys have a blessed saturday the ultimate thing for me to have done would have been obviously take my scrap metal from there break it down in the back of my trailer there and then throw it into the back of my trailer doesn't always work that way unfortunately i wish it did if i had only one business scrapping i wouldn't need my trailer for my roofing projects but uh yeah when you need a trailer for roofing on monday you don't want to fill it up with scrap metal today and then not have it for monday so there is a method to my madness and uh one day all of this stuff will be gone but right now, unfortunately, I cannot be just a scrapper, which is something that I love doing. I have a passion for it. Um, so sometimes it might look like you're hoarding. When you're not really hoarding, you're stacking. I am stacking cash. Look at all the cash over there. When I see that pile right there, well, all I see is dollar bills. I don't see a pile of scrap metal. I see dollar bills. A lot of times while I'm taking things apart, um, if you're trying to make the most money out of your product, which is what I really like to do in most cases, I will uh, scrap things out and then just throw the smaller pieces into this barrel right here so that I can micro scrap them out later. So I'll take this whole barrel, which was full all the way up to here, and separate it into buckets like this is what i've been doing but now greg a friend of mine brought me over a whole bunch of 55 gallon plastic drums and i'll be able to put it in my plastic drums separated so this is some clean cast this is some dirty cast and if i have it in big barrels that'll save me so much work later so thank you greg scrapping scorpion for bringing me the barrels i got them all cut down yesterday i will be labeling them for different things that i have and uh filling them up and bringing them in when they're full and hopefully this money pile won't be so built up next time this is from when i started scrapping this is from when i started i mean literally some of that stuff's been there for a while haven't had a chance to get to it if you're a good scrapper and uh, you tell people about your business and what you're doing, they will start calling you and say, come get it. Just like this morning in the morning, I got a text message while I was sitting on the john. The guy says, look, I got a lawnmower. This lawnmower needs to go out today. Can you come and get it? If so, it's yours. I hope everybody has a blessed day. It's a beautiful Saturday, again, here in Southeast North Carolina. Sunny Southport is what I call it. Um, I'm preparing for my rotator cuff surgery on Wednesday. So hopefully I can get some of this stuff that I'm looking at um, hauled out of here on Tuesday. Because Monday I'm doing a uh, fascia board job with uh, left-handed Paul. And uh, very, very, very much needed my trailer for that. So no hoarding going on. Just... Uh, Lots of work. Lots of work. I'm a hard-working fool. Scrapping with Grandpa ain't no slouch. As much as I love having everybody come visit me on my channel and spend a little time with Scrapping with Grandpa, before you start calling names, you want to make sure what the situation is. And my situation is, 
hard work pays off. For all you scrappers that want to know where I came from, this is what I've been doing for the last 30 years, roofing. So I'm still a roofer. Although I don't do the work anymore myself, I subcontract it out. As far as roofing, I do do home repairs. And therefore, I have to have a trailer to put tools in. This metal brake, 12 foot six, can't go in the back of my truck. So unfortunately, it needed to be in the back of my trailer. Which left me with no real place to throw my scrap metal as I was taking it apart. Because generally, why wouldn't I just take it from here and throw it up there? That would be the best thing to do, right? Can't always do that, guys. Can't always do that as bad as you might like to. Especially if you're in my situation where I'm making money here and I'm making money here. So uh, one important thing about being a scrapper is you have to have multiple streams of income, which I do. Roofing, scrapping. Roofing, scrapping. So money's money. I'll take it any way I can get it. It was just so important that I did not fill up my trailer with scrap metal when I needed it for my tools. What's next? What's next? What's next? Scrapping with Grandpa.